Hello everyone, Emax here and welcome to another Black Ops 3 video. Today I have a great topic to talk about and the gameplay you're looking at in the background is me playing Domination Unhunted using the uh, KN44 which is pretty much the AK remake um, if you want to call it and the video actually has a lot to do about this gun. I ended up going 33 and 5 which I felt like is a really decent or good gameplay but I could have done better if I didn't choke at the end of the first round because I'm running UAV, Wraith and Raps I ended up getting all my streaks and I wasn't playing very smart I wasn't thinking of you know I wasn't really thinking and I just decided to just call it in at the like at the last moment when we only needed like eight points left in the round and the round was about to be over and I just it just pissed me off so much but I did end up getting all my streaks again in the second round and um, but still I felt like I could have gotten way more kills than that anyway Getting to the topic, this is pretty much the new AN-94 in Black Ops 3. Now if you know about the AN-94 in Black Ops 2, you know that of course it's a freaking, what do you call it, it's an AR, it's a, it's an assault rifle, it has very, very low recoil honestly, it's very powerful and it's just something you could just completely cause mayhem with, especially when it comes to like, I don't know, like all my favorite memories of using the AN-94 always has to do with like jump shotting and stuff from like long range whenever someone sees you you see them as well you ADS they start shooting at you but then you start shooting at them and then you jump shot and you they just they lose the gunfight because I don't know you just played it very much smarter and that's how it feels right here like as you're seeing I'm doing all these I don't know crazy moves trying to evade all these bullets trying to get all these kills as you can see I got my wraith I got my wraps and uh, I ended up actually calling it in not knowing that we needed like eight points left and um, I don't know, it just really, really pissed me off. But anyway, the KN44, it's exactly, you know, the way it feels, it's exactly like the AN94 from Black Ops 3. Even the name itself sounds like AN94. I think that's why, Tra honestly, I feel like that's why Treyarch decided to change the name from the ARK7, uh, which is what it was named during the beta, to the KN44, to, which is what it's named right now. Because it honestly feels exactly the same as the AN94. And, um,. Yeah, it just feels really, really good. And if you're wondering what uh, what streaks I'm running, well, I've already said it: UAV, Wraith, and the Raps. And I'm using the KN44 with extended mags, fast mags, quick draw, and I believe that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, some people are recommending using silencer or suppressor for this, since you know you're going to be playing pubs or whatever. But um, I don't know. I've tried using you know suppressor, and it just didn't really work too well for me. Um, I mean, it's good because you know you're gonna stay off the radar, but it, the range on this thing isn't isn't that great, you know, to begin with. Like, it's not the best range, like the M8 or the uh, XR2 or something. So it would be kind of dumb to put a you know suppressor on it and get that range even shorter than it already is. And honestly, I feel like if you're good enough and you you have you're really confident in yourself, you're really confident in your gun skill, and you're really confident in your decision making and your map awareness or whatever. You shouldn't really need um, a suppressor unless you're just straight up flanking. But even then, I, I did I do end up flanking the enemy a lot in this game, and I, I'm not using suppressor, and I still end up doing pretty pretty well. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Let's see. Honestly, that's pretty much it. I ended up playing really really well. Uh, so far, I'm loving this game. I'm loving this gun, and it's just so many. You don't know how many times I've been like, oh man, this is. This is by far the best gun in the game. Oh no, 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 it's this gun. Oh wait, no, never mind. It's this gun. And that's just how good this game is. And I feel like that's how good the gun balancing is. And I think that's um I think that's uh that's just what a beta is for. And you know, for the first time in a long time since World at War, they finally have a beta for Call of Duty and for like for the first time in a long time, which I don't even think this is the first this is probably the first time ever in a Call of Duty game where a game comes out and there isn't just like these two top tier weapons, the best AR and then the best SMG. Because during the beta that's how it that's how it felt, you know, it was Razorback and M8 every single time. But now we see that the beta was actually useful because the game came out and everything just feels balanced. I honestly can u legit use any weapon and play really well with it and that's how good, you know, the balancing and of just the weapon balancing of this game really is and that's how I don't know, it just feels really good that, you know, it's not, you know, not every, there's no two weapons that just dominate everything. And especially when it comes to competitive and how there's this ban and protect system, 
And if you know someone's just like extremely good with one weapon, you could just ban it and force them to have to use another weapon. And even, in fact, that even forces you to make sure to, um, to know that, you know, to know well a lot of things about that player and know what guns they're really good with, what guns they really like, what guns they prefer. And um, so far, everything when it comes to balancing in this game is just perfect. As you can see, I got my Wraith. I went ahead and uh, called it in with only 15 points left in the game. Again, I felt like I could have done even much better if I gotten, you know, if I saved the my last set of streaks to the beginning of this second round. I ended up getting the wraps again right there. Did a little backward sliding. I don't think a lot of people know about the backward sliding, but it can actually be used a lot to get away from enemies. I ended up getting my wraps. Ended up calling them in. But um, I don't feel like I even use them to the maximum potential because, well, as you can see, three points left and the game will be over. And I called the, like both of them in, you know, both rounds. I called them in pretty late. And um, but yeah, anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. 33 and five. If you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm your Max Destroyer. You've just been destroyed. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is about the new MSMC in Black Ops 3.